of math humans, we're going to do 3.2 today. We're going to be multiplying polynomials. Our objectives are we're going to multiply polynomials using the distributive property or the box method. So let's go back before we get started and review the rules for exponents. So if I have a to the m times a to the n, I have a note written on the side that it says notice that the bases have to be the same. If the bases are the same, then you add the exponents at the top. If I have a to the m raised to the n, a power to a power, I multiply. And if I have a to the m divided by a to the n, then if the bases are the same, I'm going to subtract. And then the last one is if I have a to the negative m, then that means it's going to be 1 over a to the m. All right, in theory, you've learned the distributive property near the end of Algebra 1, and so we're just going to go back and spend a little bit of time reviewing that. So if I have 3cd to the second, and I'm going to multiply by 4c squared d minus 6cd plus 14cd squared, now let's do some math. So I'm going to distribute this term to each one of the terms on the inside. And so for the short term, I am just going to start writing it all out. So I'm going to have 3cd to the second times 4c squared d. And then I'm going to have a minus a 3cd squared times 6cd. Notice that I moved the negative out front because I think it's just a little bit easier to keep track of it. And then I'm going to have 3cd squared times 14cd to the second. So remember that like things play together. So 3 times 4 is 12. This is c to the 1. c to the 1 times c to the second is c to the third. d to the second times d to the first is d to the third. Then I'm going to have a minus. 6 times 3 is 18. This is c to the 1. This is c to the 1. So c to the 1 times c to the 1 is c to the 2nd. And then I get d to the 3rd. And then I'm going to have plus 3 times 14 is going to be 42. And then I have a c to the 1 and a c to the 1. So I get c to the 2nd and d to the 4th. And this would be my simplified product. All right, remember that if any of these terms had been the same, if they had had the same bases and the same exponents, we want to combine like terms when we're done. All right, let's move on to our second example, and I'm going to show you a different method. You've probably seen it in the past, but in case you haven't, I think it's a handy way to, to do the distributive property. I'm going to have x minus 2 times... 1 plus 3x minus x squared. Technically, I could do FOIL. You learned that, I believe, in Algebra 1. But I prefer to do the box method. So I'm going to put this in standard form. So I'm going to write a negative x squared plus 3x plus 1. And then on the left-hand side, I'm going to have x minus 2. And I'm going to draw my cute little box. So now when I multiply these two terms together, I'm going to get a negative x to the third. A negative and a negative is a positive 2x squared. 3x times x is 3x squared. This is a negative 6x. This is x, and this is a negative 2. The reason that I like this method is my like terms are along the diagonals. So I'm going to get my solution is going to be a negative x cubed. 2 plus 3 is going to be plus 5x squared. And then a negative 6 and a positive 1 is a minus 5x and then minus 2. So I think that the box method is just lovely because it makes your math nice and organized. All right, let's do example number 3. In this one, I'm going to have a 3 by 3. So I have x squared plus 3x minus 5. And I'm going to multiply it by x squared minus x plus 1. And again, you could do FOIL. I'm going to do a box. So one of the things that I do to save time is if I've already written this out, then I'm just going to write my x squared minus x plus 1 on the side. And I'm going to use what I've already got written down. And then I'm going to fill in my spaces. All right, x squared times x squared is x to the fourth. 
a negative x to the 1 times x squared is a negative x cubed, and this is a positive x squared. Now I'm going to do x squared times 3x, so I'm going to get 3x to the third minus 3x squared, and then this is 3x, and again, I'm just multiplying the elements to be able to get the pieces on the inside of the box. And then this is a negative 5x squared. This is a positive 5x because I have a negative and a negative, and then I have a negative 5. Notice again that my diagonals, my like terms, are along the diagonals. So the product is going to be x to the fourth. I have a positive 3 minus 1 is plus 2x to the third. I have a negative 5 and a negative 3 is a negative 8, plus 1 is a negative 7x squared, 5 plus 3 is going to be 8x, and then I have a negative 5. Alrighty, I have one more example for today, and then we're done. That's kind of nice, a nice short video. So for our last example, this is going to be example 4, and our directions say do math. And we're going to have 3b minus 2c, that's not a 6 by the way, and I have 3b squared minus bc minus 2c squared. And again, I'm going to do the box. I tend to always put my 3 thing at the top for whatever reason, just because I do. So minus bc and then minus 2c squared. You don't have to, you could arrange it the other way. It doesn't matter as long as you're just consistent. So here, here, and here. So 3 times 3, this is going to be 9b to the third, because remember that's b to the 1. This is c to the 1. 3 times a negative 2 is a negative 6b squared c. This one's going to be a negative 3b to the second c, because remember that's 1. Typically we don't write the ones, but it's helpful when we are multiplying. A negative and a negative is a positive 2bc to the second. This is a negative 6bc squared. And then this one is a positive 4c to the third. So now in this one I'm going to combine like terms. And again, all of my like terms are located along the diagonals. So my product is going to be 9b to the cube minus 9b squared c minus a negative 6 and a positive 2 is 4bc squared, and then my last term is plus 4c cubed. So that's it. See you soon.